So most kids in school have a course that's like a foreign language course where they're learning a brand new language besides English. And since I live in Texas, the foreign language of choice is usually Spanish. And in middle school, I did in fact take three years of Spanish. However, when I got to high school, since I was homeschooled, my mom decided it would be better to switch to Latin and then Greek for some reason. I say for some reason, I know I, it was to translate the Bible because everything revolves around the Bible. So in middle school, I knew a fair amount of Spanish. I took it for three years. Um, I did pr not like the best, but I didn't do badly at all. I got A's. Um, when I moved to high school, obviously I dropped off my Spanish courses because I was forced to take Latin and Greek instead. But I also took a lot of college level courses. They call it like dual credit courses. And one of them that I took was in fact Spanish again. The problem was I had to take intro to Spanish again. So it was like I had gotten to basic three or level three or whatever you call third year Spanish in middle school but then when I got to high school I lost all of my Spanish. When I went to college I started over at basic one level one <laughs> intro to Spanish class. I took that course did well because I knew enough Spanish to get through that course pretty well but then when I went to like my actual university all of my dual credit classes transferred as electives instead of their actual classes. So when I took a foreign language class and that I obviously picked Spanish because I knew it. I had to start over again. I had to start back at basic Spanish at Intro to Spanish because none of my credits transferred properly. I didn't finish school. It was too expensive. I couldn't afford it. And my Spanish kind of dropped off because I wasn't really using it daily and I wasn't studying it anymore. However, fairly recently I have picked it up again. I've started doing Duolingo courses in order to try and like refresh my Spanish and get it to a point where I'm conversational, where I can speak and understand Spanish. And I got this idea one night when I was drunk. And if you know anything about Duolingo, they have like like this test at the beginning that you can do that'll basically see how far ahead in the course it'll put you before you even start actually doing the Duolingo stuff. So I did in fact take that test that night while I was drunk and surprisingly I actually did pretty well but I obviously didn't do as good as I could have done. So today I would like to go ahead and retake that test basically see how far the Duolingo uh, like intro test the CLEP test would place me now. I've been doing Duolingo for almost a solid year at this point in Spanish and I'm also not taking the test drunk, so let's see how much better I can do. So I'm gonna be starting a brand new account. We wanna learn Spanish, and they only ever have like the Spain version of Spanish. They don't really seem to have other dialects, which isn't awesome, especially since the Spanish I learned in school was not Spain Spanish. I'm typically more aware of like the Mexican dialect of Spanish because I live in Texas and a lot of my teachers were Mexican. They spoke fluent Spanish, but they spoke like the Mexican dialect, not necessarily the Spain dialect, which is different, but we're gonna go with Spanish. Let's get this party started. <sighs> Do we have to? Okay. I'm gonna say I have simple conversations because I do and I don't think this test is gonna be any fun if it's just throwing me the hardest things possible that I know I'm not gonna understand. Or should we pick I'm new to Spanish and see how far we can get? I'm not sure. I think we're gonna start here. Find my starting place, answer some questions to skip the basics. Okay, that's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, here we go. Test time, Yo baby. Bebo leche. I drink milk. Taxi. My taxi with cheese i don't understand the question no Entiendo Entiendo la pregunta. okay that being said <laughs> as you guys probably just heard just now my accent is trash my accent is so bad mostly because i did a lot of book learning right in school we didn't have a lot of practice speaking the language we took a lot of reading and writing tests though so i'm pretty good about the reading and writing part minus spelling but i'm not good at spelling in english either so oh my god my accent is so bad and if somebody's talking too fast i also can't understand them which is a pretty important part of a language so i'd like to apologize ahead of time for my accent he is my friend Señor, Ramos. where what is the message Cuál es el es mensaje? Es How many friends do you have in class? Amigos. ¿Cuántos amigos en tienes en la clase? Este clase? I want new pants. Cas tiene cocina moderna. We love this big piano. Ca no, este. Me encanta este Pia grande. piano grande. Your parents are worried now. We want to spend a day at the beach. Queremos, we want to spend, would be pasar, pasar. a day, so un, un día, día en la, la. We want to, can you say, 
Okay, yeah. I like spending time with friends. Me gusta pasar, pasar tiempo. Quisiera una blusa más pequeña. I want a smaller blouse. Quisiera un blusa. He always cocinar would be cook. He always cooks different meats. No, that's not correct. Cocinar. He always cocinar to cook different meats. Maybe that means knows. Sabe? He knows how to cook different meats. There we go. Viajar este verano. A don, a donde vas a viajar este verano? A viajar este. A donde vas a viajar este verano? Verano. Traveling the summer. ¿Por qué no haces la compra Why mañana? Don't you buy tomorrow. Mm. Why don't you buy tomorrow? That seems weird. There we go. There's something missing. I knew it. So access means groceries. That's that's a new one to me. I've never heard that one. They want to brush their teeth now. Ellos, Ellos uh, quieren, quieren diente. Ahora. How much butter do you want? Cu Mantequilla. Quieres. Yay! I wash my hands before dinner. El niño tiene que cepillarse los dientes. The child has to brush his teeth. We Queremos want to open would be a beer. abrir. The windows last week. Ventanas. Ventanas. We don't have plans today. No tenemos, tenemos plans planes para, para hoy. Señor. Señor. Levántese. Levántese. Por favor. Por favor. Ta -da! It didn't take very long at all and I only got one wrong. That's pretty good. Let's see how far into the thing it puts me. I did way better than I did the first time when I was drunk and a year ago. <laughs> Which I mean... Obviously, I would do worse, but let's see how well I did. Just doing the test, I'm on section 2, unit 12. In my actual Duolingo that I, that I do every single day, I'm on section 2, unit 10. So I got even further than my actual daily Duolingo just by retaking the test. I wonder if it would let me retake the test on this one. Interesting stuff. So while this outcome is not like particularly surprising, it is uh, fun to see how far along I've come. It is a little bit of an accomplishment and it lets me know that I am getting on the right track. I am getting better, which is always good news because even though Duolingo is set up in a way to make you feel like you're achieving more, the units can get very, very repetitive, especially when you're learning like two new words a unit. I'd say this is a success. I did well. I did better than I did when I was drunk and also a year after practice. I am past where I am now in the actual Duolingo app. So overall, I'd say I'm conversational in Spanish. I think people I actually know who speak Spanish fluently might disagree with me, but that could also be a social anxiety problem. I definitely think I need to give myself more credit for the amount of Spanish I know. Whenever anybody asks me if I speak Spanish, I always say un poquito, which I guess isn't true anymore. It might have been true at one point, but um, I don't think it is anymore. I think at this point I need to buck up and really practice my pronunciation and actually practice having conversations in Spanish rather than just listening on the sidelines and acting like I can't really add anything else. I know enough now and it's on me now to use that information that I have gained properly. But but that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me briefly run through a Spanish program. Coming up soon, I wanna do this, not the same thing, but a similar concept. So be on the lookout for that video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.